Two men, one journey. The longest train ride in the UK. Nearly 1,000 miles, 25 hours of sitting in a train. 25 hours, starting now. I'm curious to see how bad I'm gonna feel. Ah, oh, that's not good. <laughs> go, go, go! I'm not expecting that, you know. Oh my god, them lights are so bright. Boston Sands are done, I think. Oh, sure. It's tough to end, is it? <laughs> the Second Day Show! Sponsored by Train Pal. in John O'Groves, the most northerly point in the UK. We are going on the longest train ride in the UK, all the way down to Land's End in Cornwall. It's gonna be 25 hours of pure hell. But one thing that's making it that little bit easier is an app called Train Pal. This is a train app that saves you money by splitting up your journey, and there are zero booking fees. We saved 90 quid on this journey and we're going to use that to treat ourselves after this 25 hours of hell to the trip bring you up to speed we thought the taxi driver was coming to the side he's went to our hotel up so we might miss the first train brilliant start here zach and jake first organization trains on this journey. At 8am from Wick, we are boarding. The trains have started. Thank you, train pal. Looking forward to the journey ahead. I'm actually not. 25 hours starting now. So you mean to tell me this is my view for the next 25 hours? You're right. <gasps> you know, a lucky boy, Dad. We're on our way to Inverness. We've just left Wick at an early start of 8 a.m. The lighting was gorgeous despite the. I'm, I'm curious to see how bad I'm going to feel. We are on hour one of the journey. My face feels like it's been harassed by the sea air. We haven't eaten any breakfast yet. Absolutely reeks and is dripping with some sort of moisture. Ugh. <laughs> My fingers still smell of fish. I'm just about to do some guided meditation. Havasana. Can I get a Havasana? Havasana. So with the journey officially underway, we were feeling great. An early start, refreshing Scottish winds, a ceremonial swig of iron brew, guided meditation by this guy, and beautiful scenery passing every second, we were on to a winner. Just got done on the meditation. But instead of us getting enlightenment, uh, we both passed out. Ah. Breakfast is served, so we've got the Scottish shortbread and the Scottish oats. So we're two hours in, me and Zach just woke up and went nah, we had breakfast. That was light work, but what's 14th down and it's easy. <laughs> Meditation, naps, a proper Scottish breakfast. We were getting cocky. Surely it wasn't going to be this easy. So our 12.55 train, I have just found out, has been cancelled. Cheers mate. Thank, Thank you. you. First train done, four hours clocked off. That was a beautiful ride, beautiful scenery, nice nap, bit of breakfast. Train number two, Inverness to Edinburgh. Still very much in the heart of Scotland, the sunny beaches had changed for snow-topped mountainous mountains. These times are precious. The time we spend with friends and the memories that last forever. And I am so glad I got my best mate here to share this moment with me. Ah, oh, yeah, right, yeah, mate, he's asleep. <laughs> Six hours in, we've got 18 hours, 19 hours to go, 
got to Perth. Got to Perth. Yeah, we got to Perth. You know platform? Going to platform one. Let's go. <laughs> so we're seven hours in. Sex told me after eating my sandwich with my mouth open because it's a branded video. About to get on a train. <laughs> really new there. Still what? Still easy? Still hard? Still easy, well, yeah. Still easy. Just having a great time, really. This is meant to be a challenge. With the first of three changeovers underway, we hopped on at Perth to Stirling. But this wasn't causing us any stress. We were lapping this up. These trains were my new favourite mode of transport. Tell me what other mode of transport you can stroke a dog like this on. Huh? Alright, so we're in somewhere called Stirling. Second changeover done. We had been on trains for nearly an entire work day. It was time to switch up the format. We knew we loved trains, but why was everyone else on this train? Whilst Jamie worked out, I was on the search to find out more. Trains, we all love them. Me and Jay are currently on the longest train journey in the UK. So, to ask the public's perception on trains, I'm joined here with Paul. Paul, what do you love about trains? At least they save you being involved with all the traffic jams. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. I'm getting shut in the toilet. <laughs> Closing out for the Zach and Jay show. <laughs> Fuck. Despite my most embarrassing interview to date, Paul wanted to know what this was all for, and rightly so. We mentioned that Train Pal had sent us on a challenge, and before we could finish, Paul started telling us how much of a fan he was of the Train Pal app. Yeah, that's the app, isn't it? Oh, you think we paid Paul to say this? No. Enhance that image. What do you say? Full screen. Bring his face up. Full screen. There's a reflection. That's their logo. Yeah, I've used uh, Bristol up to Doncaster using the uh, train pal app with split ticketing, which saves you quite a lot of money. Paul is a wise man and knows how good train pal is, and you should all try and be more like Paul. Thanks, Paul. So train pal is an absolutely sick app that allows you to save loads of money on your travel. TrainPal automatically splits the journey within the app so you know you're gonna get the cheapest price on every journey. It's the exact same journey, just a load cheaper and without booking fees. So this journey has been London King's Cross to Edinburgh and a super off-peak single with 96 quid. As you can see, the split ticket thing is doing its magic and there you go. Same journey for £29.65. So once you book through the app, you can download the tickets on your phone or you can pick them up from the station. There's literally no reason not to go and download the Trainpal app right now. It's available on Apple and Android and I've left a link in the description where you can enter a code Zach and Jay and you'll get five quid off your first journey. You are welcome. Be more like Paul, be more like me, save yourself some money and download Trainpal. On with the vid. So just landed in Croy. One minute changeover. Oh shit, we've got no battery. Go, go, go! It's coming! Train number 39. So we pulled into Edinburgh having done a full eight hour workday on trains and we still wasn't out of Scotland. Anyway, the 5pm from Edinburgh to London King's Cross was about to blitz the next 400 miles in five hours. The only trouble was we needed food and with no place to stop we were going to be stuck with terrible train food until Jamie came up with a cunning plan. I just had a really good idea. It means I could start to feel the effects. We're about nine hours in with a solid 15 hours left and we want some munch. So we're gonna see if one of our followers or supporters, anyone with a heart, can help us and meet us in Newcastle and drop off some goodie bags to keep us refreshed and to keep the energies high. Fingers crossed, hey guys. From Edinburgh at 5 p.m. we get to Newcastle at half set. This will be iconic if it works. This will be iconic. With the print screen of our next stops on our Instagram stories, all we could do was sit and wait. With so much time spent in close quarters, the conversation had dried up. The enthusiasm levels were dropping and fast, but the chance of food was the beacon of light at the end of the proverbial tunnel ahead. But still, our mental states were deteriorating. We're just passing Edinburgh and so calmly the cars are driving. What a beautiful bridge. Wow. <laughs> Hour 10 and a half, he's going rapidly downhill. With the meal confirmed at York Station at 7.30, we had an hour more to go until we could eat. We were becoming institutionalised by trains. We could only eat on their timetables, we couldn't leave, and it was getting to us. 
but the gods had answered our prayers and one of our followers and his dad drove to the station to find us and deliver us some crisps and drinks. Jack, you're a legend. Oh, right. Where's this from? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sort of. No! Wait, what the fuck? You're a legend. Oh, <laughs> much appreciated. <laughs> legends, man. Legend. Legend. Come, legend. come through with a good cup. I'm blown away. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you didn't organise it? No, he's just got time. What a guy. Right, so we are fast approaching York. We've got some people waiting on the platform. We're very hungry. I'm yeah. starting to go down again, but I've got the feeling that there's food. If it goes right, only if it goes right, we'll send me right back up. I've been in a seat for so long. Yeah. Looking forward to meeting you guys at York. Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Yes. Hey! <laughs> How you doing, mate? Hey, legend, my guy, go delivering the goods! <laughs> oh my god, that is amazing! Shout out to Kian on these, absolute banger. With the food delivered, new friends made, things were looking up again, and London was fast approaching. So I'm guessing your name's wanna be Zach, no one's Jay. Train dog. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we, Peter, bro? Uh, something like that. Peter, bro, bro starting to um, starting to get real boring now. If you actually look at the uh, there, though, that is a long way to go. Enthusiasm yeah, levels are dropping. <laughs> To London, we're over halfway done with the challenge, and that can only mean one thing. <laughs> yep. Go on, fella, hit him with it, hit him with it, hit him with it, rapid. I'm a bit. Go on, rapid. Uh, uh. That, that feels really good. I know it's no way near over, but we've still got a nine hour slog. Can't be us getting another tube and then waiting anywhere, and we've literally done no walking. Uh, Paddington is an hour and two minutes walk away and our train leaves in an hour and a half I think we walk it. Actually, it's got to be train, isn't it? Oh, I hate this challenge. Just kidding, lovely train, pal. <laughs> Mind the gap. Very exciting times here. Prospects of a bed have just arisen. Race. I organised this whole trip and it wasn't fucking easy. And someone said that there may be beds on this train and I got a feeling that I did not book them. Now I'm quite excited at the prospect of sleep. It's 20 past 12. We're going to try and blag ourselves a bed. If not, it's going to be hell. Here's what you could have won. Oh, they said... Last words before you go to sleep. Yeah, those lights are so bright. Eight hour journey started about 20 minutes ago. Our enthusiasm for the challenges went down a little bit, as you can tell. Uh, just need to sleep, been up since 6 a.m., it's now midnight. On to land's end. Jamie? Jamie? Oh. Is it comfy? No, it's dead itchy, the carpet. I've got a little trick up my sleeve to make sure I get a good night's sleep. Ta-da! The blanket, jacket, sleeping bag, all in one. I'm getting to sleep tonight. <laughs> Zach and Jay bird box challenge. <laughs> what, what's going on with that? You jealous? It's fluorescent already. The final stretch was officially underway. The hope of a bed being ripped from beneath us had broken us. So feeling groggy, tired, all sorts of weird emotions, we made an effort to find any sort of comfy sleeping arrangement we could. It is half six in the morning. We've been on trains now for 22 and a half hours. And we've got an hour and a half left. I had about four hours sleep. Everyone's crashed out. Legs flying everywhere. Zach's passed out on the floor. Home stretch now, baby. Home stretch now. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> go on, go on. I knew you're right. I got your feet. Yes, mate, legend. <laughs> oh, right, have a good night, mate. See you in a bit. Legend. We've <laughs> got breakfast to load to us. How are you feeling? 
it doesn't end, does it? We woke up and the sleeper train had turned into a commuter train. People going about their normal daily lives whilst we were in a delirious state. Our dreams were about trains. We woke up to be on a train. Every thought was about a train. I didn't remember a time in my life outside of trains. Trains were all we knew. The yawns were now uncontrollable. Feeling awful was inescapable. But we were so close now. We were doing this for train power. Our most much anticipated destination. I'm at the point of the trip where I just uh, lost all sense of anything. I don't know how I feel, really. We are actually so close to the finish. Do you feel a sense of achievement? I should do. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are now approaching our final destination of Penzance. Final station for the Night Movie Area. So, um, just an hour bus ride to Land's End. An hour? <laughs> it never ends, buddy. So whilst we sat aboard the lonely bus that took us from Penzance to Land's End, we reflected on this challenge that began two days earlier. Over a day of nothing but travel, the ups, the downs, and to everyone we met along the way, those memories will stick with us forever. So as we approached the gates of Land's End with all the energy we could muster, we couldn't help but feel great about all that money that Train Pal's split ticketing feature had saved us on this journey. So that is it. We've just completed the longest train journey in the UK from the very top of Scotland to the lowest point in England. It's 11 a.m. right now, meaning we've been traveling for 28 hours. Quite frankly, I have no idea how I feel right now. But if there's anything making me feel a little bit better, that is the fact that Train Pal has saved us a whopping 90 quid on this journey. Download Train Pal, the link is in the description, and use the code Zach and J to get five pounds off your next train trip. From everyone here at the Zach and Jay show, that's me, Zach. And me, Jay. See you next week. Let's get out of here, Zach. Come on. Yeah, it's D-double-E and Diesel. Yeah. I've got Porsche, yeah. these got Diesel. Yeah. I've got an R1 full of unleaded. And I've got an I'm really excited to start this endeavour going down from Scotland all the way to Downlands End. Ah.